Hello, um, let's have a quick look around DAS Studio 1.7. Um, so I've got some content in the content drive here. I've got a 3D interface in the, in the centre, uh, content and scene on the uh, two tabs on the left, which we can collapse down to the right and click on and bring them back. Same with this side, click that in, click that out. Uh, this side we've got uh, basically it's a parameters pane and a power pose, and we can do that with pose and animate. We've got a render setup as well we can play with but we'll leave it in pose and animate um, and then redraw in again okay so let's uh, import uh, a model now this takes a while to import when we're actually recording so I'm just going to pause the import on here so um, looking on here a young lady here double click her she's going to start to come in and I'll pause it and be back in a sec okay so we're back in um, I'm going to add some clothing to her um, so I'm going to add some underwear sounds good and a skirt that should come in pretty quick there we go and we'll give her a top so let's hit pause on that one okay so we're back again so give her a top and basically she's sort of like dressed at the minute got a navigation menu here so we can turn around with that turn it back again it's a little crunchy because we're um, let's change the render style down to hidden line that looks really horrible. How about we do smooth shaded? There we go. That should sort of spin around. That's a bit better to play with. Um, it's easier when we're not recording as well because uh, it's trying to write to the hard drive at the same time as move things around. All right, so pretty good. Um, so this is the area you can add various things. We can look for hair. I'm going to that. Okay, and give it a different colour hair. There we go. So you've got different hair on that. We're probably going to go and undo that actually. Okay, because we surely had hair, so we'll just leave it with one haircut. Um, what we've got now, if we go into the pose animate area and we select our item here, if we change back to uh, texture shader, we can see our eyes. Let's uh, zoom right in if we can possibly. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? There we go. We are a bit crunchy on the old interface at the moment. Let's get right in there, there we go, and drag down, there we go. This one's a lot quicker when you're not trying to record. So what we have at the moment, we've got hands as an area for posing, got the whole body and we've got the head. So we're in the head out, uh, area at the moment, so I can move the eyes around, make them sort of look up there and sort of, doesn't she look, she says, uh, I don't think so, or we can make a look over and down. So each eye is independently available. We can pose the whole head, have a head look around. She's looking over there or looking over there. We'll say we'll have her looking over there. And we can move the whole neck around as well. So we can sort of do that. That's pretty cool. Zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And we'll select her face. Okay, so parameters on a face should be should be, let's have a look, morphs, there we go, so let's get rid of transforms and miscellaneous and we're left with morphs. So let's uh, get rid of that one as well. So we're looking at, under morph targets we've got head morphs and then we've got uh, mouse and lips, so we can give her a bit of a smile. I'll pop it back down again, or make her face sort of like, oh, I've not been paid today, where's my money? Um, we'll give a bit more smile, and you can open a mouth up a little bit like that, which is a bit more interesting, and a bit more not interesting, there we go. Or a bit of a frown going on. It's like, what? Yeah, pretty cool. And we'll do a bite lip mid, so it's like, all oh, right, yeah, Arr, no. There we go. So, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we've got morph targets, quite, quite easy to use, and we'll drop that down again. And we'll put that on to the eyes and eyebrows and we'll put a blink on so she's sort of like hmm not really back not sure about that and we'll uh, give a bit of a sleepy look to it a bit of a sly look and then we'll look at eyebrows eyebrows up and down there we go so we'll have them down a bit so she's looking a bit curious or like I don't believe what you're saying yeah go back to power pose again and we can sort of turn her head a little bit There we go. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, 
and that really is it, isn't it? So um, navigation here. Um, we can go to let's go to view interface layout interface style viewport. There we go. So we can have um, something like that. We can pop them back out of the way. So we've got a bit more capability here for uh, zooming in and seeing what we're looking at. So if we go back to this one, figure, let's just zoom out a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. So now into figure, um, we can then do, use power pose here. You can reset the whole pose if you want to. Um, we can, matter of fact, we're going to go store a pose. We have a pose here. Okay, I'm going to go and do a leg that way and have another pose there and then we're going to go and move her legs alright let's bend her knee ok and then sideways there we go and I'll have another one there so this is my puppeteer area so this is, if I go into preview I can sort of go back to these poses pretty quickly yeah and uh, I can sort of go around them and make her do sort of like a Scottish dance how about that um, and you can actually record this as well and this will play back so this is just a very very quick and dumb way of showing you um, puppeteer working very simple um, going to hands the same idea with the hands you can select individual fingers and we can uh, curl them up or spread them out and we can move the whole hand around as well we need to um, just scissor the left hand. There we go. We can do the right hand as well. Yeah, I'll we'll have that as a pose. So I'll have that as a pose. There we go. And then go to preview. So that's one of the poses we can go to. Yeah, so pretty simple stuff. Um, quite like it. And that, children, will sort of do, I think. That is. A very very quick and not very well informed look around Das Studio 1.7. Um, this character does not come with Das Studio 1.7, which is a free application by the way. Um, I, I bought this oh, ages ago, um, and j just loads in. You can load in all your poser content, all the Das Studio content. Uh, you can even rig up your own uh, characters as well. So interesting program. It's the right price, zero. Um, quite like it, and you've got a couple of renderers as well. You've got uh, a cartoon render. Um, let's look here. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. So you got um, where's my rendering tools? Render, render settings. There we go. You can add in renderers as well. It's got a bucket rendering capability. Um, you can say so have a render normal or cartoon, and it's this render style here. And you've got advanced. You can have assistance from OpenGL you can change your bucket render size down to different sizes it's all good stuff so we'll cancel that and um, yeah not bad um, catch you another day